good morning. There's a teaching in A Course in Miracles, and the teaching by many of the Masters is love is non-specific. Pure love, pure love is non-specific, but hate is very specific. And if we can really grasp this teaching, we can understand why and how the world came about. The ego wanted to act out its revenge and its anger towards God. And so it needed to have things that were different, different bodies. And then the ego lives by comparisons. And the ego is in sibling rivalry for God's love with every other ego on this planet. And as our mind starts to heal, we become willing to see this. All we have to do is be willing to see it because the Holy Spirit is very gentle with our lessons. And it's not scary. It's one layer at a time. So love isn't limited to specifics. And Jesus is teaching us that the entire perfect love of the kingdom of God can be felt with a brief encounter with the mailman and with your beloved husband, sister, child. It's all the same. And that relationships are hellish when they are in the ego's hands. In the ego's hands, relationships become me and you against the world. If I want to project my anger onto someone else, the ego will expect you to join with me. It's me and you against the world. And that's what is known as hell. Anger is hell. There is no place. It's a state of mind. And a judgment turns into a resentment, turns into a grievance, and it's all anger. That is hell. And it has to have specifics to land on. In spirit, we're literally all the same. And when we allow ourselves to be taught about this spaciousness, this limitless love, and to let go of our clinging to specifics and include everyone in our love, this means when we're married, the purpose of that relationship is to draw love into it and have love expressed through it. We're guided where it's wanted. There's no such thing as personal love. It doesn't exist. It's not real. And we invest in personal love. And we really believe that egos love, and Jesus tells us straight up, egos do not love. They don't love. They cling in neediness. They possess. They want to control. They love today. They hate tomorrow. And this is not the truth of love. Love is grand and everywhere and non-specific. There's love in a lamp. There's love in a tree. There's love in my neighbor. There's love in my desk. Love is in everything I see everything I perceive because love is in my mind and to choose favoritism and to choose specifics for love means that the ego can lose love and the ego wants to suffer the ego is suffering it's the suffering it is the ego and it created the world of specifics and opposites and it and it thrives and it feeds its pain by comparing 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 things that are different and the ego is always looking for love and when it finds it it believes it's it finally got the recipe and it touches heaven and then the expectation isn't met and that love turns to hate and this is not the truth Specifics are not the truth. 
There's no such thing as best friends. There's no such thing as specific ego relationships. They are not the truth. And today, we set ourselves free.